what was that? Decaf asked. <laughs> DK, why can't I talk? Decaf asked. Iced asked. back to my channel today I'm taking you through my go-to makeup look you know when you just sit down and do your makeup and it's the same thing most of the time that's what I'm showing you I do it for when I'm taking photos doing videos going to events going to dinner whatever so yeah if you follow me on Instagram you'll see my makeup look that I normally do for photos and I get a lot of questions on that so let's get into it I always make sure my skin is toned and moisturized before I put makeup on and make sure that you have clean hands too. If you've watched my favorites videos, you know that I'm obsessed with this Sukin Green Tea Hydrating Mist Toner. I use this every day, it's nearly empty and I always just give my face a quick spray with that and then I moisturize with the simple Hydrating Light Moisturizer, which I've spoken about a lot. I've used this for, I think over a year, it's the best. I'm gonna give my face a little spritz with this Caudalie Smoothing Glowing Complexion, Complexion Spray. It's a bit warm today so I feel like this is just nice and refreshing and it's getting my face ready to go. The primer I've been using is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. That's what it looks like, it's so pretty and I just do about three pumps of that. Yeah, this is the only primer I've been using. I used to use the Rimmel one. But yeah, this is my go-to one for every makeup look. I do have a bit of leftover fake tan on. As you can see, my face is a bit more paler than my body. I never used to fake tan before this year. It's sometimes required for photo shoots and brands to have fake tan or just look a bit more bronzed up. I get quite pale in winter. So yeah, the foundation I use is a bit darker than my actual light face. I've been using the Fenty Beauty foundations and I probably use the hydrating one a bit more than the matte one. I tend to use the matte one for videos because I feel like you can see more detail on videos and this one's very mattifying and just flawless. And then the hydrating one I use if I'm doing like selfies, close up on my face and I want my face to look more dewy and natural. I have the hydrating one in 290 and the matte one in 300 so I also tend to use the matte one if I'm extra tan, if I have a lot of fake tan on or yeah. I think in my last makeup video where I tested out Fenty Beauty I used the hydrating one so I'll use the matte one today. So I usually just put two pumps on my hand and I find that using a brush it spreads it out a lot less and you get less coverage than when you use a sponge so I use a sponge for this foundation because I feel like you can spread it out more and it doesn't get all soaked up into the brush. And I always go on my ears now because yeah my face and ears are a lot paler than the foundation and my body. Alright, so I have the Fenty concealer, but it's a bit light for this foundation. It's the shade lighter, the 290. I'm going to use this infallible L'Oreal More Than Concealer. This is the one I've been using a lot in the shade Almond 337. I like that it has a big applicator brush. I'm going to dampen my little sponge. I always bring it on top of my eyelid as well. Then I set my under eyes with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in medium tan. I go on top of my eyelid as well. And then I use that same powder but in a darker shade, this is the deep tan, to set the rest of my face. I love this brush, it's so big, it's from Thrive Cosmetics. So most of the time I do do powders because I find it's a lot quicker than cream contour and cream blush. Like I love the natural dewy effect that gives. But for everyday kind of things, I find that powder is way easier and quicker to apply. So yeah, but I can do my cream version tutorial if you guys are interested. I feel like that's more for natural dewy looks. For bronzer, we're going to use the Thrive Cosmetics in Rhea. And most of my brushes are from Sports Girl. They're pretty old, but they're good. The thing I focus on these days is to make sure all the angles, like the contour and the blush and the highlight, is going up so you look extra 
snatched, like Bella Hadid vibes, you know? That song Heather is stuck in my head. For blush, I've been using the Savvy Classic Blush in Cherry, and I use the Real Techniques 302 brush. And something I've changed about when applying blush is I kind of go over my nose lightly as well, and I bring it all the way up. So, as I said before, it's like a sweeping high angle motion. You want to apply it. And I always smile too. <laughs> Sometimes I put too much and I look sunburnt. <laughs> Why won't you ever kiss me? Okay, so the highlights I've been using, I'll show you my three top ones I've been using lately. I've got the Maybelline Master Chrome in 100, a nice little drugstore one. It's really like glittery and pretty. And then I've got the Becca um, Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfecta, which is just the best. I've had this since last November and I use it a lot. And then the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This isn't available in Australia, this brand, so I think I got it off eBay. It's the Golden Flower Crown one. Love it. Today I'll use the Becca one. And I use this Real Techniques setting brush for highlighter. Can you see that? Ooh. I like to bring it up above my eyebrow in this spot here. Just for that extra glow. I get a lot of questions on Instagram and TikTok of what highlight I use. And this one is just so seamless. So pretty. And I always put some on my nose, on the tip of my nose, and on the bridge of my nose. I'm just going to put some of that bronzer I used on the sides of my nose. I don't, do, I don't do this that often, but just to give my nose a bit more definition. Okay, for eyebrows, I've been using the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil. I like ones with a brush and then a pen. I also use my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil as well. That's like my OG, but I can't. I cannot find it, so we're going to use this one today. This is in soft black. It is a bit black for my liking. That's why I like my Benefit one a bit more it's more of like a brunette and I like ones with a pen that can like retract and you can bring out more I just lightly outline my brows don't want to fill them in too much and then I like to brush it through and that's what makes it nice and seamless and even I was into soap brows for a while but now I'm not I'm just more into a basic neat brow I like to use this Revolution Nudes Palette for eyeshadow. It's like this chocolate block looking thing. And I always use French Girls and Undressed. I like to do a mixture of those two. And I just lightly go in my crease to give my eyelids a bit more definition and warmth. This is the Revlon Crease Shadow Brush, by the way. Sometimes I just leave that eyelid space bare. I don't like to go too heavy with eyeshadows, but I'll put a bit of gold shimmer today. That one in Pillow Talk, just on the lid to give some shimmer. Just very lightly and blend it into the other eyeshadow colour. I'm going to go back with that highlighter and put that on my brow bone. This just makes your brow bone pop and always in the inner corner as well. I feel like it's so pretty when you highlight that little area. All right, so the next step was a key game changer in my updated makeup look. I got this sleek little angled brush from Priceline. I can't remember which brand it was, but if you just go into your local drugstore or Priceline and ask for an angled brush, they can help you, that's what I did. And going in back with my palette, I take this dark brown shade called In The Sheet and I draw a little winged liner with the eyeshadow. I feel like this is so flattering on the eyes. Rather than using a black pen eyeliner like I used to, this is just way more subtle and natural and it makes your eyes look like more of a cat eye and just, it's, I love it, it's so pretty. And again, I like to make it point upwards, kind of in the same angle as my contour and highlighter and blush, to, just to give that snatched effect. I just bring it in a bit on top of my eye, but not all the way. I always stuff it up, like one is always pointing higher than the other one. Alright, so you can make them as thick or thin as you want. I could have pointed mine a bit more upwards, but that's alright. I can never get them perfect, but it's fine. You can also like blend them out more if you want, or have them sharper and more defined. 
But yeah, that's what I've been doing lately for eyeshadow. This has been an OG mascara of mine. It's the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic False Lash Mascara. It your eyelashes really nicely and makes them really long and spidery in a good way. I'm just going to curl my lashes a bit. Ow! No! <laughs> oh, that took forever to fix. I had like mascara all under here, then I had to redo the wings and the wings look a bit bit pointy but it's fine. I give up trying to fix them. I'm gonna go back in with that warm colour French Girls and put that under my eye. I, do, I don't do this all the time but... So the lip combo I've been using a lot right now and that I've been loving is the Mecca Max Pout Pencil in Super and then the Mellow Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Auckland and then the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss. This is like the darkest lip pencil shade I've owned and I love it. I'm gonna set my brows with the Mecha Max Brow Guru Control Gel. I'm just gonna brush my brows upwards. So that's the makeup look done. I'm gonna fix my curls. I just need to put some spray in it to get some definition back. I think this is second day curls. I'm gonna use some of the John Frieda Day 2 Revival Curl Reset Spray. Why won't you ever kiss me? I'm just gonna spray a bit of hairspray. This is the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. Alright, that's the finished look. That's what I do to get ready for content creation, photos, videos, events. Let me know if you guys have any of these makeup products. I definitely recommend the Fenty foundations. I think they're so seamless and make your skin look flawless. If you have any questions, leave them down below and make sure to leave me suggestions of what videos you want to see next on this channel. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one.